Crack it open, slurp it up. Our Tar Heel Traveler has been on an oyster kick lately. And tonight we find Scott Mason in Moorhead City with a master oyster shucker wielding a beautiful knife. Moorhead City is a bit of a hotbed for artists. In some cases, very hot. It runs almost like a jet engine. 2,000 degrees. How do you like doing this? I love it, especially when it's cooler out. <laughs> Hit it. Action. This is a furnace that I built. He and a buddy have built Carolina Shuckers, oyster knives. Knives for shucking oysters. Functional, unusual, and neat. Kirk Davis, he's a craftsman. He's made furniture. Has always been good with his hands. He created this sculpture outside the hospital in Moorhead City. And being from the coast, well, one time he and his buddy went to an oyster roast. And we decided to make our own oyster knives for this particular oyster roast. And everybody that saw our knives absolutely loved them. So they made more knives and sold them. And that was the spark that started it all. We looked at each other and we're like, hey, we may be onto something here. The fire was lit. And we were getting orders from all over the world. The thinner, the sharper, I guess. Exactly. There's no oyster our knives cannot open. It's not just an oyster knife. It's a bottle opener. It's a bottle opener. Two in one. And ready for the party. Ready for the finishing twist. The more twists you have, the better grip you have. I guess it's also a decorative touch. Absolutely, decorative as well. And because they're all handmade, each blade is 100% different than the other. And there's a finished product. A Carolina shucker. Do you like oysters? I love oysters. Especially when they're easy to shuck. And I want to thank you guys from Carolina Shuckers.